you too. Check it out, man. It's late night. Your boy passed out, man. But I wanted to jump back up. Make sure I hit you guys with one last update before tomorrow, man. Look, expect a lot of craziness in the market tomorrow, okay? You know what I'm saying? And um, the Dow futures and everything like that will be down. And so there's going to be a lot of blood in the streets. But you already know, man, if you guys rock with me, when it's blood in the streets, it's time to eat. So listen, I want you guys to do two things for me. Okay, if you're comfortable in this environment, do what you need to do and take advantage and ride some of these plays down. Matter of fact, a play that I'm gonna be on heavy tomorrow that's on my watch list that I told y'all I can give you one more play would be Netflix, okay? I'm talking about to the downside, to like, to like 386, that level I'm looking for it to fall to, okay? Now, mind you, as I often tell you guys, when we wake up, but when you guys see this, the landscape may be a little different, okay? So just to put it plain, 5% from wherever you see market open at, I'm expecting it to fall at least 5% more from that price. Let me know if that instruction is understood in case anybody jump into that put for tomorrow, okay? That's what I'm gonna be looking at. That's what be the, I'm gonna be looking to take advantage of, but I can't go in reckless, okay? I got to wait for the dust to settle. I got to see if they have some type of sympathy, momentum back to the upside and kind of see where things fall at so I can know, okay, this is where the play going to settle at. From here, I'm going to let it go down 5%, okay? So I'm putting that on you guys' this radar, but I'm also saying the fact that this, there will be more volatility, but if it's volatility early in the morning, it may be a setup for quick recovery for plays to start going to the upside, okay? So just like I teach you guys about the fake out breakout, there's also times where, where the plays can crash. We call it the morning dip, which is a setup for afternoon rip, okay? So just be mindful, man. Keep your head on the swivel. And if this is too much, I don't want you to abandon it. I want you to fall back, though, take it all in and just kind of watch the market unfold, okay? No need to try to navigate the waters if it's something that you're not fully fully up to par with doing, okay? But just know that we're going to have a wild, crazy day in the market. That's first and foremost. Know that Netflix is a play that I'm expecting to have at least a 5% fall from wherever the open is at, okay? And then on top of that, as investors, okay, I need you to be looking for opportunity, okay? You're going to have, you're getting down to the last little couple days left, man, to be able to get these plays at these low prices because they're going to start having 5% days, 7% days. Then they'll be up to 15%, and you're going to be looking like, man, I could have got this play at this particular price so do me a favor make sure we dca dca is dollar cost average make sure we're buying or nibbling or getting our 125 shares established in the plays that we have the highest conviction in that we believe will turn around once all of this crashing and all of this mayhem is over with okay the sell-off is creating buying opportunities for real investors, okay? So I want you guys to know that and understand that. And in addition to that, guys, it's important that you know you ain't got to go after everything, okay? These plays sold off and crashed, but they still good companies. Nothing, nothing hasn't changed. They're just deciding right now to drive everything down. See, this is what happens when they pump all that stimulus and free money into the market. A lot of these plays are inflated. They're just deflating all the plays and everything is coming down now to their rightful corrected level. Okay, that's what a correction really means. We're correcting stocks to the right price they are supposed to be. But it's painful when you go through it, but when the dust settle, you can be like, oh, okay, now that everything has calmed down, these prices are where they are supposed to be without no hype, without no fluff, without no injection of stimulus. This is where the price should be. Now they can run up 
from the rightful place based on fundamentals, based on earnings, based on the real moves they're making, production results, things that they're actually accomplishing versus just some arbitrary thing that has them up for the sake of being up. Okay, so listen, don't let the market scare you. That's what they're intended to do. I'm here to bring calm, all right? I'm here to bring calm. I'm here to bring rationale and be reasonable about the things you guys should be doing right now, okay? And so tomorrow it's going to be crazy, okay? But listen, a crazy morning oftentimes means that things can turn around midday, later in the day, okay? But do me a favor. By the end of day, I need you guys to be back on what we always on, okay? They can still make plays for to end out the day, okay? They'll still make plays for going into close, okay? So don't get caught up too heavy thinking things are going to run. And then look, guys, we'll wash our hands of this week and we'll get ready to do it all again next week, okay? So just do me that favor. Stay on top of your A game. Keep your head on a swivel and understand we're expecting blood in the streets tomorrow, but you guys already know when we see that, it just simply means it's time to eat, guys. You guys how I know how I go, man. When they sleep, we eat. When they panic, we pounce. Remember, guys, we make videos like this every day. So if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember, most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. Do me a favor. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.